Gators. And welcome back to another edition of Swamp Talk. I'm Chandler. And I'm Amal. Today is your last day to vote for the 2019 Outstanding Senior. All students have access to the survey through My Learning. Voting ends at the end of the school day. Just a quick reminder, Gators, there is still time to earn a four-year Florida prepaid college plan through the Hispanic Heritage Month essay contest. You can enter the contest at floridahispanicheritage.com. The deadline for submission is October 15th. Now for some sports news. There will be a varsity football game tonight at Lakeland Christian at 7.30. There will also be a volleyball tournament today at Wharton as well as a game Tuesday versus golf. If you are interested in playing soccer, girls tryouts are on October 22nd through October 24th. Please see Coach King for paperwork and details. There will also be a lacrosse meeting for boys and girls on Wednesday, October 10th at 6 p.m. in the Culinary Building. And now for the next edition of Pass and Play. Welcome to Pass and Play, where we predict the winners of this weekend's matchups. I'm Chandler. I'm Isaiah. And I'm Dylan. A play equals a win for that specific team, and a pass represents a loss. This week, that Bucks have a bye, and it's Jaguars and Chiefs. He's going to win. Jaguars and Chiefs. It's going to be a great game. It is going to be a good game. It's going to be a terrible game. What are you talking about? And you still have the Jags over the Chiefs. Yeah, no, I have the Chiefs over the Jags. Just not a blowout, though. It's going to be a good game. Yeah, it's, it's going to be, it's gonna be really close. So I got the Chiefs in a close game. Yeah. How are the Chiefs in a blowout? Next up, Dolphins versus Bengals. All right. Woo! I got the Bengals on that one. I got the Bengals. No. Yeah. The Dolphins also suck. Go you're, Bengals. You're a Jets fan. That's why he wants anybody to beat the Dolphins, because they lost to the Dolphins. <laughs> Y'all suck. Right. That's you, CK. Suck, suck, suck. Thanks for watching this edition of Pass and Play. October means a lot of things to a lot of different people. Halloween, cool weather, and pumpkin spice drinks. But October is also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Now for a segment about how you can help make a difference this month. The color pink is considered feminine in most modern Western countries. It evokes traditional female gender roles such as beauty and caring for other people. The breast cancer ribbon represents the fear of breast cancer and the hope for the future. Breast cancer kills roughly 40,000 women and 400 men in America per year. One way you can help fight for a cure not only this month, but every month, is by donating to charities such as the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, National Breast Cancer Foundation, and Living Beyond Breast Cancer. Every donation makes a difference in saving the lives of those affected by this disease. And remember to thank Pink this month, Gators. Principal's Mr. Mellon. Rick Mellon. Isn't it um Mr. Mellon or something like that? Yeah. Okay. Um six years? I'm gonna guess around like six years. Our principal for the day, I would choose a better a better school lunch for the children. I would and like saying, I guess like a free period and that's like 20 or 30 minutes. So students can like have their own time in like the commons or the cafeteria to like have a snack or something else to do. Um, to get like, to fix the dress code. You know, this is not, <laughs> this shouldn't be a problem. I don't know if he's in charge of it, but like better cafeteria food. Um, well I would want like longer lunches. I think that's what we should do. I don't really know. Like, handle discipline, like, fill out papers and stuff. I really don't know. I, I just see him walking around. That's it. <laughs> Other than, like, the lunch schedule, I feel like everything's, like, like, timed perfectly. Like, I like how when we get out and stuff, like, I like getting out early, so. Well, obviously, in, like, every school there's bullying, but I think that in our school it's not really, like, a big issue. So it's like good on keeping it like low. That's all.
for today, Gators. Tune in next time for another edition of Swamp Talk.